Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Welcome back to my channel, uh, Spiritual Perspectives of Our Great Awakening. Um, listen guys, I was just on with uh, David Zublik for um, the two o'clock segment today. We talk about Moses. I'll be doing my own um, thing about Moses on my channel too, for those of you who are not part of David Zublik's channel, The Dark Outpost. Um, but I actually just wanted to put a quick video out here too. Also, I was on with Bryce too today, but that's not a live. So that will be posted on Rumble probably tomorrow or later today um, on her Rumble channel, um, which I'll, when she posts it, I'll link it down below in the description box for you guys to go look at. Um, we talk about a lot of interesting things, but one of the things I wanted to talk about today with you guys is um, something I actually mentioned on both of their platforms today. Um, and I would like some feedback on this because it, it has occurred to me um, through the comments that this whole church abuse thing has been, um, you know, it's pretty prominent within you guys, my, my subscribers. So my question is, um, a couple days ago, I'm pretty sure this uh, was brought to my attention by God himself, um, that starting a group maybe on Zoom um, or on some other type of platform, probably Zoom because I'm most familiar with it, um, where anybody who is either one, being abused right now, or two, has been abused and uh, not quite over it and maybe needs a little bit of a boost in life here, can, you know, come to a group a couple times a week, once a week, you know, whatnot. And we can, I'll lead the, the group, but we can go over with, everyone you know what experiences have you had and collaborate um together to help each other out because you know abuse is one thing um when you're in a relationship it's just you and that person and it's very painful and i've been there i've i've been abused by uh, a partner um a on a couple occasions but when you're in a church it's not exactly um something you pick right up on and I think that it's coming to light that a lot of you have actually been in that same position as me being abused in the church. Um, part of the reason why God put me on this planet in this particular lifetime is to help people. And I get great joy at helping people in a humble way. I just, it makes me feel better if you feel better. So one of the things I wanted to do is put together maybe this meeting uh, once or twice a week. I might do a woman's only because sometimes there's woman issues and then maybe do like a men's group thing and maybe try to find a, a guy who would be willing to lead maybe a, a men's group and maybe do like a, a co-ed type, type thing. Really, you know, put in the comments what you think. Um, Bryce is very, very interested in helping me out with this endeavor. So it's just something I really wanted to put together. It came to me. I really don't even think it was my idea. I think it's God saying, hey, hey. Uh, you have experience in this uh, arena and I need you to step forward and do this for me to help people because we're revealing the church. We're revealing the lies. You know, let's heal together. Let's heal together. We need to heal together. We need to, we need, um, we just need to hold hands throughout this whole thing. So tell me what your thoughts are. Let me know in, in the comment section. In the meantime, um, I'm going to put down my uh, PayPal, Venmo, tip jars, um, either one you can donate to, and um, <coughs> that way I can continue to make these videos. Um, I'm a little leery about the Patreon thing right now because I'm not, I haven't been posting a lot of things, and um, I'm probably going to keep my Patreon up for now, but I'm not sure in the future, so more to come on that. And then I have my Etsy. Be sure to check out my homemade jewelry. Christmas is coming, so I want to get everything in the mail well before it's hand. And also, too, it's first come, first serve because a lot of things I don't have duplicates of. I just make one of because it depends on how much I have of the material. So be sure to go check out my Etsy account. I'll put that in the description box below as well. And so that I can get that sent out to you if you're buying anything for your loved ones. Um, just an FYI, too, I put pure intentions into my jewelry making. So um, I send them out already I, I sage off any kind of negative energy and then I do Palo Santo which puts in uh, positive energy and um, so that when you get the piece of jewelry there's good intentions behind it that's very very important to me I pour my love into this I love doing it and uh, if it puts a smile on your face because you got some pretty earrings on or whatnot then it makes my day so anyways 
go check that out and uh, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you're new to my channel welcome glad you're here so make sure you go check out that video like i said i'll post the link down with uh bryce on rumble um when she gets that posted it probably won't be for a little while and then um if you are a part of the dark outpost you can go check out my little segment that i did at two o'clock with david zublick which was awesome we go into a little bit of a deep dive on Moses and uh, I'll make my own video about that coming up soon. I've been really, really busy with my research, which I apologize to the girl who said I'm having Stephanie withdrawals. Oh my God, I love you. I got that comment yesterday on one of my posts. Thank you so much. That brought tears to my eyes and I just, oh, I love all of you. You guys are just such an amazing um, audience here and I can't be like any more happier. So that's just wonderful. So I do apologize I haven't put anything out in the last couple of days. I've been swamped with one research project after the other. So with Bryce, we research into the cross and us, uh, uh, what's his name? Sarce, Sar, uh, Sar, Sargia, Bor I'm, see, this is where I am, scatterbrain. Sarce Borgia, um, the guy who plays, uh, not plays, but uh, is the, uh, who we see as Jesus in all those photos of Jesus that people have, you know, that's not Jesus. So anyways, yeah, I got a little tongue tied there. So, but anyways, um, I will see you guys on the next video and, uh, God bless. Have a great day. Tell me what your thoughts are on that group I was talking about, because I really think it's needed and love all of you sending light, love and positive and happy vibes. Bye guys.